<laughs> All right. Hey, everyone. My name is Alex Lewis. I am co-founder and CEO of Electroactive Technologies, where we are working to power cities with waste. Almost 40% of the food produced in the world is wasted, a staggering amount. This waste is expensive to manage and is an environmental catastrophe as a leading source of methane emissions. But what if this problem was actually an opportunity? What if food waste was the starting point for solving one of the biggest problems on the planet, production of affordable zero-emission fuels? My co-founder and I started studying this at Oak Ridge National Laboratory more than five years ago. Oak Ridge was home to the Manhattan Project and is now one of the largest DOE science and energy laboratories. There, we focused on a special electron-producing microbe. Now, this microbe exists naturally in the soil to break down iron, but we evolved it through targeted evolution to work in our system, which turns food waste into hydrogen, a zero-emission fuel. Now, to more effectively break down complex food waste to make hydrogen, we pair our electron-producing bacteria with hundreds of other microbes. And this microbial community has been specifically designed to work synergistically to produce electrons from waste. Now, this, these microbes grow as a biofilm on the anode, which actively extracts the electrons and drives hydrogen production at the cathode to make hydrogen in our microbial electrolysis cell. Our work, would, work at Oak Ridge was patented and now has been licensed exclusively to electroactive technologies for producing hydrogen from waste. And we are already doing this at commercial rates, as you can see from the data shown here, or of a continuous 30-hour experiment. Now, to scale up our individual cells producing hydrogen, they can be replicated and stacked together to make larger systems. What you see on the left here is our prototype at IndieBio, which is a stack of four cells with a 30-fold increase in size compared to what we were doing at Oak Ridge. Now, out in the field, our shipping container-sized unit will be a much larger stack, consisting of 30,000 to 60,000 cells. It'll produce 100 kilograms of hydrogen per day and be paired with a food liquefier and hydrogen compressor. And as a stack, this system is modular, so it can be scaled up or down to meet the needs of the customer. And these needs, as well as the market opportunity, are greatest here in California. Looking at the hydrogen side, our pathway can qualify for low-carbon fuel credits worth up to $4 per kilogram. Meanwhile, on the waste side, California has a mandate to divert 75% of the organic waste currently going to the landfill by 2025. To achieve this, waste haulers have to offer organic waste collection, but they have very limited options for processing it, which our system can address. Taking food waste from these haulers, we can generate revenue on the front end through waste tipping fees and on the back end with sales of our hydrogen at $6 per kilogram. Collectively, we can realize a margin of 41 to 48 percent, and this was without factoring in the subsidy available here in California. Our conversations and traction with potential customers and partners on both sides of the market indicate our price points will make us very cost competitive. This traction has recently culminated into two major deals that we're really excited to announce. We have an LOI with a major waste logistics company and an MOU with a leading hydrogen supplier. Both these companies are national and can handle a lot of volume. So as we scale up to increase our volume, our costs come down rapidly. What's important to know here is we can rely on the established manufacturing of fuel cell stacks as our system can be assembled in a very similar way but with cheaper materials. And with that subsidy available here in California, we can enter the market here earlier and start fulfilling contracts within two years. As we continue to increase our volume and optimize our stack operation, we can expand outside of the state and to other countries by year four. And the worldwide market has over a billion tons of food waste to process every year. The hydrogen we can make from this is worth $78 billion. The World Economic Forum recently came out with a statement that hydrogen is no longer the fuel of the future. It's already here. Major companies like Toyota, Shell, Walmart, and Amazon are investing heavily in both hydrogen and fuel cells. And a roadmap was recently laid out by the Hydrogen Council where hydrogen can, can contribute 18% of total global energy worth $2.3 trillion by 2050. We're making a future where waste is no longer wasted, where people can feel proud to live in their cities and be reminded of it every time they ride the bus and fill up their car. The team we have to execute on this vision starts with myself and co-founder Bija Barole. I'm an expert in developing and controlling complex microbial communities and advanced this technology during my PhD, which led to the highest publicly reported productivities in these type of systems. 
Abijit is a, the original inventor on the technology and brings 20 plus years of experience as a scientist at Oak Ridge. We have also begun forming an advisory board with technical, financial, and industry experience that can really drive the company forward. Pinnikin Patel was the former R&D VP at Fuel Cell Energy, which has technology being used by Toyota. Jim Petrecki was the former VP of Business Development at Plug Power, a major fuel cell company here in the U.S., with their fuel cells being used by Amazon and Walmart. Finally, Lynn Youngs, our financial advisor, has held multiple executive-level positions with successful exits in multiple startups. Over the coming months, we'll be progressing through our next set of milestones, generating additional long-term data with different food waste feedstocks with the help of the Innovation Crossroads program. We will also be moving on to pilot studies and forming partnerships with key industry players under the H2 Refuel program, sponsored by Toyota and Shell. From here, we will develop our downstream integration and manufacturing plan to begin generating revenue within two years. To accomplish this, we are raising a seed round of $1.9 million, of which we have already committed 66%. Please come find us to talk about joining our round, and I ask all of you to join our cause to power your city with waste. Thank you. <laughs>